Hello, I'm Maker410, and welcome to my channel, where I focus on 3-inch revolvers and firearms chambered in the 410 bore shot shell. Let's check out today's video. Hello, and thank you for tuning in to today's video. In today's video, we're going to be shooting 22 short, 22 long, 22 long rifle, and two types of 32 Smith & Wesson long, wad cutters and lead round nose. We'll be shooting them out of our Charter Arms Professional Mark IV, chambered in 32 H&R Magnum, and out of our Diamondback Bird's Head Grip, uh, chambered in 22 long rifle, uh, 22 long and 22 short. We'll be using our Garmin chronograph and we'll be shooting into clay and ballistics gel. Uh, it's taken me a long time to get the ammunition needed for this video uh, because this is a follow-up video to the one I did where I shot 22 shorts and 22 longs that were CB loadings. Uh, I wanted to see what a proper 22 long and 22 short would do and it took me all winter to find any 22 long that wasn't a CB loading. I had to go to a vintage store, a vintage firearm store, and uh, I found these ancient Remingtons here. Uh, Remington Golden Bullet Clean Bore High Speed 22 Longs, and uh, they were marked for 63 cents a box, and that's what I got them for, which is kind of crazy. So, I thought you guys might enjoy getting a chance to see these old uh, 22 Longs and see how they perform in the clay, the ballistics gel, and on the chronograph. In comparison to the CBs, uh, which from what I understand don't have a proper uh, uh, charge in them. Um, so anyway, that's the kind of stuff we're gonna check out today. I'm gonna grab the camera, camera, whew, and we're gonna do a close-up on these so you guys can kind of see um, that the 22 long is not uh, a 22 long rifle. Okay. Okay, folks. So on our left, we have 22 short. Let's see. There we go. Sorry about that. We got 22 short, 22 long, which as far as I can tell is a 22 short bullet and a 22 long rifle case. A 22 long rifle, uh, which is a different uh, weight of bullet. This is a 40 grain. These two are 29 grains. Then we have our 32 Smith & Wesson uh, long wad cutter and 32 Smith & Smith and Wesson Long uh, lead round nose. Um, and both of those uh, 32 Smith & Wesson Longs are 98 grains, okay? And uh, the performance on these should be pretty standard. I don't expect we'll see anything fancy. Okay, everybody, so we're all ready. We're set up here to get started with the 22 shorts. I've got all the information loaded into the uh, Garmin. Again, these are 20 nine grain Aguila. We're going to be shooting five shots of each. I believe I've got the proper cylinder. I do not have the proper cylinder. I'll be back. Okay, folks. So, uh, we're going to start off with our 22 shorts. These are Gila 29 grain super extra shorts. So who knows what super extra means, but uh, I think we'll get some interesting results out of these. We're doing five rounds as we normally do. I'm only shooting at some steel targets about 10 yards away. Nothing too crazy for this portion of it. Just gonna have a little bit of fun. Uh, I always put on eyes and ears, even with things like 22 short and 22 long, uh, simply because I wanna keep my hearing as long as possible. All right, let's see what kind of results we get. Ah, revolves the way that I wasn't expecting it to. All right, let's try that again. Let's see what kind of results we get. 899, that's not too bad. 858, yeah. These are a lot better than I thought. 872. 802, 906, 
that's it. Okay, that's great. That was so much fun. So gentle. Uh, our average is 867.6. Ah, those were a little tight popping out, but not too bad. Now let's get set up for the 22 longs. Now, um, in my other video where I covered a little bit of 22 long action, um, people were confused. Uh, I'm fairly certain that people thought I was talking about 22 long rifle when I was talking about 22 long. Uh, they are a different cartridge. I don't really think that 22 long is in production anymore, aside from those CB rounds that I found from uh, CCI. At least as far as I can tell, I haven't seen anything more recent than that. Uh, and I certainly haven't seen anything uh, that has a um, an actual amount of uh, charge in it that isn't a CB round. All right, let's see what we get out of these 22 long rifles and if they're even remotely close to the 22 shorts. 830. 947. Okay. 978. 909. And 929. Hey, that's a lot better than I thought we'd get. Honestly, I thought they'd be about the same. All right, so it does look like that 22 long does have just a tiny bit more kick than 22 short. Our average here is 919 feet per second. That's not bad. 29 grain bullet. Nice, quiet, smooth, easy to use. A little bit more kick without being... Uh, 22 long rifle level of kick. All right, so our arms core are 40 grains today. And we're going to adjust that. And let's see what kind of juice we get out of these arms cores. Now, these are all just small game shooting. Uh, plinking kind of ammunition. I would not recommend these really for anything else but that stuff. Um, but the recoil, especially out of this revolver, which is closer to 30 ounces, uh, is so mild. You could, you could shoot 10 cans all day with these accurately and pleasantly. All right. Oh, well, that's a little bit more. 898, though. But with a 40, uh, a 40 grain bullet, 885, 886, 930, and 856. All right. All of those are pretty gentle. Uh, we had an average of 891. So honestly, a little bit slower than the 22 long, but with a significantly heavier bullet. Okay. Let's move on to our 32s. Uh, 32 Smith & Wesson Long gives you fantastic performance to recoil. Uh, it's one of my favorite calibers because of this. And uh, let's see what the actual numbers are that we get out of this. We got a 98 grain uh, lead round nose here from Magtech. 766, 738, 637, that one's a little bit low, 683, and 708. All right, so none of those were terribly harsh in the hand, although they did knock some of the bullets around. And let's end that session.
And now let's test out some of these 98 grain semi, not semi, uh, 98 grain actual wad cutters here. So wad cutters are an ammunition that is used for target shooting and has a reputation as working quite nicely for self-defense, especially out of lower powered rounds like a 32 Smith & Wesson Long or a 38 Special. And we're going to collect some data from it. I expect these to be very similar in uh, performance uh, velocity wise to what I just shot of the 98 grain Magtech uh, lead round nose. Yeah, 694, 675, 677, 673, and 689. All right. All those were pretty smooth, nice and easy. Now I'm going to get set up, and we're going to shoot some clay. And then ballistics gel. Because I know that's really what you guys are here for, isn't it? Okay, folks. So we shoot our plastilina modeling clay uh, so that we can get an idea of what the cavities look like before they close back up, like you would see in a ballistics gel situation. So it's not super fancy for our uh, real simple lead round nose style ammunition here. But we do get more interesting results out of the uh, out of hollow points. So I just expect a uh, real basic performance here, just real basic ice pick style uh, deformations in the clay. We're going to do 22 short, 22 long, 22 long rifle, and then uh, 32 long. Uh, lead round nose. Eh. And then depending how much space we have, I'll do uh, 32 Smith & Wesson long wad cutters and whatever the space is like remaining. We're not super far away here. For accuracy purposes, 22 short. Okay, a little bit better than I thought. 22 long. Okay. 22 long rifle. I know I changed that up, but I had so much nice space at the top there. And now let's switch over to our 32 Smith & Wesson long and 32 Smith & Wesson long wad cutter. If I can find where I stuck the wad cutter bullet. There we go. All right, so bottom left will be 32 Smith & Wesson long, uh, lead round nose, and bottom right will be the uh, wad cutter. Bottom left, lead round nose. Bottom right, wad cutter. All right, well, center, I should say. Let's see how well those did. All right, so the, are we in camera here? Okay, 22 short, 22 long, 22 long rifle, and the 32 Smith & Wesson uh, wad cutter were all caught in the first brick uh, with a very simple ice pick-like performance. The, uh, there you go, the lead round nose penetrated the first brick and lodged itself in the second brick. I'll get the plaster castings of these and put them up at the end of the video. All right, so we're all set here, everybody. We're gonna take our 22 short, 22 long, and 22 long rifle shots now. 22 short, 22 long, 22 long rifle. Then we will take our 32 Smith & Wesson long lead round nose and then 32 Smith & Wesson long wad cutter. I don't imagine that any of these will be terribly deep or high uh, energy shots, but it'll be fun to see anyway. 
All right, 22 short. Oh, oh that's actually going to be more interesting to see on, uh, on the camera than I thought. All right, let's see. 22 long rifle. Aiming for the middle there. All right. Sorry, that was 22 long, not 22 long rifle. This is 22 long rifle. And again, this is out of a three inch barrel. Man, I'm really curious now. You guys get to see it before I do. All right. Our wad cutter. And our lead round. Okay, so we will do the uh, 32 Smith & Wesson long lead round nose first. Then we will do the uh, wad cutter. We're going to aim the lead round nose there, the wad cutter there. All right, and our wad cutter. Let's check it out. Let's see how these all did. Okay, so this one right here is our 22 short. That's our 22 long. It's our 22 long rifle. All right, sorry about that. That guy right there is our 32 Smith & Wesson long. Uh, lead round nose and that is our 32 Smith & Wesson long um, wad cutter. So let's get some distances measured out here. Not as easy as you think. Okay so uh, we've got about eight inches Sorry guys. Yeah, just about all three of our uh, Smith of our 22 short, 22 long, and 22 long rifle all did between seven and a half and eight inches of penetration. Ooh. And we got a foot in our lead round nose and 14 inches in our semi wad or in our wad cutter. All right, so uh, you know what that means essentially is that none, give you guys a different angle there, none of our 22s, 22 short, 22 long, 22 long rifle, and just a simple lead round nose bullet uh, got sufficient penetration. And then both of our 32s. Uh, did an excellent job getting 12 inches and 14 inches of penetration um, in performance that felt very similar to the 22s. So that's our results there, and I'll get you guys uh, some tables and some plaster castings uh, and put them into the video right after this point. Thanks for joining us, and I hope you enjoyed the uh, 22 short, 22 long, 22 long rifle and 32 Smith & Wesson long lead round nose and wad cutter video. Thank you. Bye.